So you have downloaded your Trust Wallet apps. Well, congratulations. So what do you do next? So in this video, everything you need to know about navigating the Trust Wallet interface like a pro is going to be exposed to you. Now at the top of your Trust Wallet app, you notice that you have tokens. So this token section is actually showing you the tokens that are actively enabled on your Trust Wallet interface. So the first guy here is we have what is what? Bitcoin followed by Ethereum, BNB and Smart Chain. Beside tokens, we have finance. So we are going to click on each of these guys to see what they actually do. So clicking on finance, so under staking we have BNB and the APR. That is you can stake your BNB and earn 14% APR. So you can actually stake your BNB and earn a percentage return annually. So the APR in this case is 14%. Next to it, we have Kava and the APR is 11.94%. So APR means annual percent rate. So you can actually click more to see more sticking options. So next to it is the five tokens and examples of the five tokens are there with their price as well as the percentage increase at that particular time. All right, so have lending slash borrowing tokens. So the next, the guy, the first guy there is compound, followed by maker, as well as their current price and their percentage increase. So have smart chain slash BSC. So BSC stands for Binance Smart Chain. So have trust wallets and all the like, all the way down. So we go to the next on our list, which is what? Collectibles. So in collectibles, you click on collectibles. So what is under collectibles? If you have any assets, this is where it is displayed. And it says collectibles will appear here. So open on OpenSea.io. Now OpenSea.io is an NFT marketplace. So we'll be exploring all this in details in our subsequent videos. But in this video, let us go ahead to continue on the business at hand. So clicking on DAPS, I just clicked on DAPS, okay? So DAPS stands for what? Decentralized Apps. So have new DAPS, I'll have DeFi, Popular, and all the rest. So you can actually explore. So I'm just going to scroll to the right and to see more options. One thing you understand is that all these decentralized applications are actually built based on Web 3.0. Now, Web 3.0 is the third generation of internet services for websites and what applications. It is the next level of the internet that you are used to. So we go ahead to look at the DEX. All right. So the DEX is the decentralized exchange, the native exchange of trust wallets by native that means it's actually built into trust wallet and you can use it to carry out your swaps as well as to carry out your exchange so next to it in this case we have what exchange so clicking on exchange you also notice that you can buy your crypto assets using trust wallet okay trust wallet has this feature where you can buy your crypto asset remember when we were talking about buying and selling of crypto assets in binance we actually saw something similar to it at the right corner is something that looks like the other book okay if you have not watched that video click the link in the top right section of your screen now to do so now so next on our screen is the settings section the first guy on our list is wallets so here you can switch between the different wallets you have on your app now the first wallet here is the multi coin wallet one so when you create a new wallet a default name is given to it so in this case we have multi coin wallet one so you can actually change the name and give it another new name depending on what you want so you can go ahead to switch between wallets so you can enable that mode or disable that mode. Some people actually prefer the dark mode. It's actually cool though. So under security, you can 
set up passcode. Remember, we we'll set up passcode while creating the wallet. I disabled it so that I'll be able to make this recordings on my screen. So, passcode is disabled at this time. So, push notifications, you can enable or disable push notifications. So, for preferences, you can enable your currency and you can select whatever currency you want to use as the default currency. In this instance, we have USD as the default currency. So you have the DAP browser. You can actually enable or disable the DAP browser. Now remember, the DAP browser is where you go to look at your decentralized app and where you interact with your decentralized applications. So you can enable or disable it here. Now look what happens when I disable it. You notice that that option for DAPs is no longer here. It's missing. Is that all right? So the option for DAPs is actually supposed to be here, but it's missing. So you can re-enable it at this instance. So if you notice, iPhone users actually have the DAPs missing. So we might be creating a video that will actually help us to know how to use the DAPs on iPhone. Now going back, we have price alert so supposing you want to enable price alert for your major crypto assets you can actually do that here so you click on plus supposing the crypto asset is not enabled so if i want to enable price alert for polygon i can add it up here so i click on the asset and i now decide to either enable price alert or disable price alert it's very very easy to navigate the interface and some of these options you might not necessarily be using them or be needing them anytime soon then you have the help center as well as the other social media handles so if you notice it is very very easy now one other thing i missed out was this button at the top right corner of our screen so you when you toggle it you can actually enable more crypto assets that is not on your default selection so if i want to enable poker dot i can just select it here and when i go back you notice that poker dot is uh, enabled okay so the more you can actually add more assets and disable assets based on how you want it so if the assets you are looking for is not here you can quickly search for it so supposing i want to search for solana so Solana is here as well as some other coins that have that particular name so on their coin name so I can enable or disable it trust me there are a thousand and one coins that is available in the crypto space so you cannot have them all you just have to search for it and once I enable it it shows up here hope you got value from this video go ahead to hit the subscribe button now to get updates as we release hot videos strictly on crypto also share like and if you have any question go ahead to drop it in the comment section below go through the description a whole lot of info is also dropped there for you remember to trade responsibly peace out